This is the Buck Compadre Fro, part of the three-part Compadre series. I like this series. They're pretty. They're pretty nice bits to get. They have a hatchet and a knife, which I've already done. I'm going to do the whole set again in another video. But this is the Fro. I've been using it. It's been riding around with me for a little bit. I've been using it quite a lot. And usually, a lot of guys will take a machete or a hatchet or axe, something along that line. Big knife. This kind of combines the big knife and the machete together. It's not as it's not as flimsy as a machete usually is the, with the blade flex because it's a quarter inch thick. It's 5160 high carbon steel, which I tend to like in a lot of knives. They take a really good edge. They hold a pretty good edge. They're easily sharpened in the field if you have to. And with this thick of an edge, you can do quite a lot with it. You can beat the holy crap out of it. And like I said, they call it a fro, made for splitting. I found using it, the sweet spot's right about here, and it chops really good. It cuts on par with a lot of stuff that I've used. You've got more of a cutting edge than you do with a hatchet, with which uh, the Buck Compadre hatchet's pretty nice, but you've got a longer cutting edge, and I'll use this a lot when I'm like limbing branches and stuff just because it'll zip down through. It's dual grip handles up close to where you can handle and control a lot easier. And back, if you pull back on it, you can get a lot more power. Balance is right in front of the handle. It's about where you want it. It's a little heavier than your typical machete, but that's what I like about it. It adds, there's a little bit more weight, but there's a lot more usefulness out of that as far as I'm concerned. So far, I've run this into Osage and all kinds of stuff, cutting with it. Haven't had an issue. Holds up really well. It'll blow chunks out. Take It takes off limbs, stripping the limb branch down really fast. This is a branch of red cedar. And it'll... Not exactly what it's really meant for, so they say, but anything like this, it chops great. The handle feels good. The sheath is a dangler type of sheath, but I've used it a lot out here. When I'm out working, it's, it's kind of one of my favorite things now for doing stuff like this. If I'm not carrying a saw, that's really dry cottonwood. I mean, it's heavy enough it'll break it. That's that's the impressive part. Back of the blade. That's just upside down, just giving it a good whack. Cuts great. This is where I like it for different stuff like this. Also, this is Osage. Which Osage is hard. And I'm not even swinging hard. And it's taking these off like nothing. Okay, this is a large red cedar branch that I took off of a tree pruning it. It'll end up being used for different things. But what's handy is a lot of times I'll use a machete to take the limbs off. Well, I started using this once I started messing with it. It's got a little more weight. So it cuts well. I like the handle.
your wood's wet and you need to get inside to some dry wood, this is the way to do it. This could be absolutely soaking wet and unless it's been actually sitting in water for some length of time, the outside of the wood would be wet. The inside will be dry. So you get into where it's dry for your kindling. Or you split this out, this is Osage, and you can go ahead and split it out, big branch, use the fro to beat on it like that, that's what it's made for, to make bows, arrows, whatever you need. Any of your camp gear, this kit is a nice little kit. It's not the cheapest in the world, but it's very well made, and I tend to like it.